I welcome all of you to the first meeting of the Parliamentary Consultative Committee of the Ministry of Communications. We are in the midst of an information and communication revolution. This revolution is bringing about fundamental changes in every aspect of life at the national and international levels. It has also opened the prospect of India emerging as an information technology superpower. This prospect will become a reality only if we create a modern nationwide telecommunication infrastructure at the earliest. Telecommunications is also by itself an accelerator of economic growth. The telephone is no longer a luxury but an indispensable tool in every conceivable economic activity. For example, the large network of STD, ISD booths established by the Department of Telecommunications in a short span and we can see these booths even in small towns today has immensely benefited small entrepreneurs and the common person. Experts have calculated that 1% increase in telephone density results in a 3% increase in GDP. As you would make out from the agenda notes, this information and communication revolution has unfortunately largely bypassed rural India. The National Telecom Policy of 1994 had envisaged universal access and availability of basic telecom services on demand. We are way behind achievement of this objective. The failure is most glaring in meeting the target of at least one village public telephone for each of the 6 lakh villages in the country. More than half of these 6 lakh villages still do not have even a single telephone in not to mention other sophisticated forms of communications. Moreover, the telephone density in such of the villages which do have a connection is very low. This should be matter of concern for all of us. My government will not allow the rural-urban divide to get further widened because of failures in policy and implementation to meet our goal in rural telephony. My vision is to see every Indian village connected with the global village that is being created by the information and communication revolution. The failure in the area of rural Telephony cannot be seen in isolation from the flaws in the National Telecom Policy of 1994 and its implementation. Today everybody recognizes that the reforms in the telecom sector particularly relating to investment in basic and cellular services by private operators have failed.